What's up? What to do, Savoir? It's your girl, Ash Beezy. And I have a question from the Twitter. Twitter wants to know, darling. Ash Beezy, how did you get started in promoting independent artists? Well, thank you for the question, my dear. And I actually got started promoting independent artists when I was really tired of the music scene mainstream music. I was really tired of the FM dial. There was really nobody on the FM dial, regardless of the genre, that was really saying anything of any substance. And it made me, you know, not want to listen to the radio as much. You know, obviously for traffic reasons or finding out, you know, what's going on in the city pop culture wise, it's good to, you know, keep up to date. But I was really like, you know what, I am not going to listen to this crap anymore. So... And I understand that, you know, a lot of the music today is geared towards certain uh, age brackets and at certain individuals. And, you know, a lot of the, you know, the kids today, they like all that stuff that goes on and, oh, yeah, it's feel good music and da 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 and, you know, the crunk music and that whole scene. And I get that. I totally and completely get that because I was there at one point. I was a teenager. I was a teenager, and I remember those different acts, you know, like the Crucial Conflicts, Hay in the Middle of the Barn, foolishness like that, that, I mean, was really, you know, we was hype, you know what I'm saying, we was crying in the mud, you know, we was jumping up, and it was the first tracks played at the party, you remember, <laughs> but ideally, looking back now, I'm like, you know what, that was some foolishness we was sitting up there jamming to, we was jamming to some stupidness, but uh, to each generation is own. You know, and I and I get that, you know, that's what is hot for them right now. It is what it is. Me personally as an adult now, I'm way more um aware of my surroundings and the messages that songs take and when certain artists choose not to be responsible and they put out messages to the young kids today. And I, I just really just don't agree with it. So I started to kind of look Within and uh, first off, I was able to find who else? My homie Dre, the artist formerly known as Dre Money. You guys check out DragonMusic.com. He was one of the very first artists that I knew um, firsthand. And um, from him, I had a, my homegirl Katina. She actually was doing her R and B thing at that moment too. And between the two of those, I was kind of like burning CDs, giving it out to people, cause I figure as much. Hey, if I like the music, somebody else may like it too. So I started passing it out to folks. Started off the blogs. I was working with the radio station that helped a ton, and of course I had my podcast show. So from there, it just continued to grow and just snowball into this this big thing and you know I'm so blessed to this day that I still have really good connections with all of my indie people you know and they just make sure that I'm always in the know with whatever new is going on with them and as long as they're making music I'm gonna be pushing it out there boo best believe it 